As a recovering addict, it's so important for me to see results, to keep me motivated, to keep me going. But I don't feel like my mom is contributing in a positive way. The fact that I don't have my little girl in my life and my mom constantly is putting me down daily. It does pose a threat to my sobriety. I'm not sure if my mom just doesn't care or if she's just completely oblivious. You say that your mom portrays you as a danger to your daughter, that she still thinks you're decision making, you're problem solving, your problem recognition, mm -hmm. your choices are, are still so flawed that if Avery was with you, that you would be putting her in harm's way, that she would be in danger of your poor choices, your poor decision making, that she, that she would just be subject to being exposed to bad elements, that she might be left alone, neglected, not properly cared for. In fact, she says you locked her in a closet so you could leave. I never locked Avery in a closet. Her. How would she know that you did that? I mean, um, she heard it from one of my friends. Why would somebody say that if it's not true? I'm not sure, to be honest. Her and I had a rocky relationship. We didn't get along very well. So you think she was just trash talking you for just to hurt you? Yes. Okay. Now, so at this point, how did you feel about coming here? Is this just another hoop your mother has you jumping through? I didn't want to come at first. It took me a couple weeks to actually decide I wanted to come, but it was basically my mom constantly, constantly asking, did you call back? Did you call him back? Did you call him back? Well, here's and the text exchange you had just a few days ago. It's this 6.30 a.m. I'm going on this dumb thing because you asked me to. So this is not something you're thrilled about. No, it wasn't. I don't want everyone knowing <laughs> everything about me. Um, but it's something she wanted. It was something important to my mom. And okay. she says it's for Avery, not her. But... I feel like it's for her. Right. Like, so if it was up to you, you wouldn't be here? Yeah, I wouldn't have been here. Okay. But it's, it's what she wants, and yeah. I, I just moved back across the country because she wants to be, me to, be, to try to be able to be near Avery. So. Well, what's your plan about being here? Is it possible that you could create value by being here? Mm -hmm. Is it possible that... I might be able to give you some information or action plan or steps or something that would get you what you want? Yeah, and I, I honestly, I want to have a relationship with my mom again after what she's done with, with taking Avery. She's hurt me this last year so badly, and I don't want things to be like that between us forever, because yeah. it wasn't like that always. Well, that's one way of looking at it. You said what she's done. One of the things she's done <clears throat> is to save your daughter from foster care. So. Save your daughter from you when you were making really bad decisions. She wasn't the only option though. Avery had been with a different family member who I had lived with. And when I came back to Oregon before I relapsed, cause I was going to go through my divorce, my mom had told me if I didn't bring Avery cause she was supposed to stay with a different family member while I was gone, she was in school out there, daycare and everything. That's where we were for two, almost two years. And she was established and close to the other family. And if I didn't bring Avery with me, then she wouldn't pay for the plane tickets. And I had to have my son back for his visitation. And I had to be back to court for my divorce. So, and then I, I knew something, my divorce wasn't going to go well. I knew it was a lot of emotions and a lot of things. And that's why I'd, I didn't want to bring her, but... I couldn't afford to come out here on out there on my own. So, and that was right before I had relapsed. Well, hey, it's me, and thank you so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, trust me, I want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on. You just might end up right here on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!